part nine of our 10 part series on everything you need to know about smoke alarm upgrades before you do it. And this one is about correct testing methods. You need to know those alarms are working and working the way they were designed to work. And that cannot be done with a normal procedure in that if they're interconnected, you need to make sure that they are all interconnected. If you're standing there holding the button, how can you tell if the alarm down the other end of the home is sounding? You can't. The only way you can do it is to have a second person or to use smoke like we do. Call me crazy, it's a smoke alarm. Of course you're gonna test it with smoke. You'd need to prove that when there is smoke, it's going to go off. And the advantage of using the smoke is that you can spray the smoke, then you can walk around and check every alarm. Now you want to check they're interconnected, but you also want to check that the sound pressure levels is sufficient to wake the sleeping occupant. You need to have 85, a minimum of 85 decibels, three meters away from the alarm. Now some brands are quieter, some are louder. Obviously the louder the better. It's meant to startle you. It's meant to get you to move out of there and find out what's happening. So we have a sound pressure testing tool that we run around and we measure those sound pressure levels and we make sure it's going to wake up the sleeping occupant. That's just two of the things that are really important when it comes to testing them. There's a couple of other things of course, are they in the right location, do they have an AS3786-2014 stamp on them, that sort of thing. Are they not out of date? That's the main thing. So hope that helps, speak to you in part 10.